because the age that this tumor presents in children is the age when they are growing. Sometimes it can be mistaken for growing pains. My name is Louis Gaston. I'm an orthopedic oncologist and I practice in the Makati Medical Center. Bone sarcomas are cancers that start from the bone. They originate from bones and the most common is an entity called osteosarcoma. So osteosarcomas are very rare and the prevalence rate is around one to two cases per million population. And in a country like the Philippines, so we would expect around 200 to 2 to 300 cases every year. So osteosarcomas arise from the part of the bone, which is the growing part, where uh, what we call the ends of the bone. So patients present with pain and swelling, very commonly around the knee. And these patients can come to your clinic with a limp, where the, the child complains that there's pain on walking, there's pain on running and playing. Um, because the age that this tumor presents in children is the age when they are growing, sometimes it can be mistaken for growing pains. When somebody suspects an osteosarcoma, the first diagnostic tool to request is just a plain radiograph. Plain x-rays will readily show the tumor arising from the bone. So there's certain risk factors for developing osteosarcoma, such as previous exposure to radiation or a previous history of uh, retinal blastoma in very young childhood, which is an eye tumor. But most osteosarcomas arise um, de novo or um, without any history. Treatment of osteosarcomas requires careful coordination between multi-specialties. So patients will be under oncologists, surgeons, rehabilitation specialists, and nurses that will guide and help patients throughout their journey. Because a complete treatment can last up to six to 12 months. So osteosarcomas require multimodal treatment wherein you need a combination of chemotherapy and surgery. So chemotherapy is given first to try and shrink the tumor so that surgery becomes easier and we are able to then save the limb. Once treatment for osteosarcoma is completed, meaning all the cycles of chemotherapy and surgery has been done, Patients will need surveillance for the next five to 10 years. To make sure that any recurrences are detected early and managed. Prognosis for osteosarcoma who are completely treated and do not have advanced presentation at diagnosis is around 50 to 70% five-year survival. So the treatment of osteosarcomas has developed a lot since the early 80s and 90s. So at the moment, with modern chemotherapy and orthopedic oncology techniques, we are able to save the limbs and the extremities of um, patients in up to 90% of people who have treatment. Options that are available to be able to reconstruct the extremity after the cancer, the bone cancer has been removed, have also improved. And currently, there are surgical techniques such as endoprosthetic replacements that grow so that the limb can grow along with the child as he grows older. There are also options where we can use the patient's own bone to reconstruct the limb and therefore give them an extremity which will be durable and last the rest of their lives. Osteosarcomas are a rare cancer that develops mostly in kids 
children of growing age, adolescents, patients present with a limb and pain around the knee. Treatment is multimodal and requires many specialties to take care of the patient and patients will undergo chemotherapy and surgery and in many cases where treatment is completed then long-term survival is achievable. Thank you for watching and for more medical information continue to watch and subscribe to Medical Channel Asia.